I am never ever playing Pokemon Go again. Now, if you've seen the title of this video and you put two and two together, you're gonna think, "Oh yeah, I remember Pokemon Go. That's that was so much fun. That was uh, that was incredible. You remember all those dumb things that Pokemon Go made you do? Like, I remember one guy <laughs> apparently while searching for some Pokemon's accidentally like entered a military compound. Like, how do you even do this? Some others uh, had like notifications of, "Oh yeah, it's time to go play Pokemon Go. It's a great day to go catch some Pokemon's," and then just like a notification above is like a national hurricane warning or something like that and uh, <laughs> yeah Pokemon Go was fun Pokemon Go was dumb and uh, it uh, it almost got me killed now you may think I'm one of those stories no I did not wander into a, a military compound I wish my life was this entertaining and I was this dumb uh, but actually no today's story is a bit different it's a bit it's a bit more unique and while Pokemon Go is not the main culprit uh, it's the catalyst uh, to that story. See, I used to play Pokemon Go uh, back when it came out. And then I think like I played for like three months or something like that. It was a lot of fun. And then the game kind of died down. I kind of stopped playing it. And then three years later, while I was doing an internship into like in a company, uh, I remember one of the other interns was like, hey, uh, do you play Pokemon Go? I'm like, dude, isn't that game dead? Have, like, is, is people still play this? And, uh, yeah, apparently people did. So I started playing Pokemon Go again, and, uh, it was fun. I was really into the game again, and, uh, since I was working during the day at that internship I was mentioning, uh, I would go out, uh, towards the end of the afternoon. And sometimes at, at, at night. Yeah, you, you can already see this coming. <laughs> and since France is pretty safe, at least safer than the US, I was doing pretty fine. I was doing actually pretty fine and uh, I didn't encounter any problems while going at night. I would go on my bike to get those miles and, uh, you know, get those eggs hatched. And if you've played Pokemon Go, you, you wouldn't stand me. But anyway, everything was going fine until that one time. So that one time I was coming back home and I was coming back on my bicycle and I was like 500 meters away from home. Uh, I came back from like, collecting Pokemon. I was on that Pokemon Go grind. And so I was on that one street that is literally like a street away from where my house actually is. Uh, I would just take a left turn and then boom, I would be on the street my house is, then go straight for like a few meters and then I would be there. Now here comes the main, uh, I would say, antagonist of this story. I'm biking on the right side of the road and uh, I see in front of me a car is approaching. I don't remember exactly the brand of the car, but it was some sort of black sedan. So in the nighttime, the only thing I could see was uh, its headlights. So I was only seeing the headlights of this car and uh, it's approaching very fast until I see it switch lanes to go counterway. So like it would come in front of me, like I was on the right lane, um, going on the right lane because you know, you drive on the right lane in France. And uh, I see that car coming uh, on the right lane. So that like that means on 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 my right lane, on on the wrong lane for them. Uh, so I I start getting a bit worried then. So instantly my reflex, my dumb reflex, is to go on the left lane. Uh, so I take my bike, I switch to the left lane, even though that is the opposite lane for me. Uh, I still do it. And uh, as soon as I do that, not even two seconds later, the car switches lanes again. So. At that one time, I'm like, okay, maybe they were just, you know, they did, they were just doing some sort of weird maneuver. Maybe they're not paying too much attention on the road. Maybe they're on their phone. You know, you, you never know. You never know. People are dumb and do dumb things uh, while driving cars. So again, I switch back to the right lane. And again, two seconds later, the car switches again. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm like, okay, is this a drunk driver? I don't know what they're doing. I'm just going to get on the sidewalk, which is what I do. I, I get on the sidewalk. And so at this point, the car was like a few meters away from me, given it was probably going at like the speed limit. Uh, it didn't run me over. Now I'm biking on the sidewalk and I'm being very careful about it. And the car continues going forward on the, the, the right lane, my right lane, the wrong lane. And it continues doing so until it arrives at my level, which at this point, the car instantly stops. And I see inside two men looking at me dead in the eye. So I, I'm, it's one of those moments where you're like, you're like going normal speed, but it feels like time is slowing down. Like there's like some sort of bullet time where you see these two people just staring at you. Why are these people inside the car looking at me? Maybe they're undercover cops and I, I look awfully suspicious just, just being out here this late on my bicycle. Uh, but I don't think much of it. So I continue biking on the sidewalk until I turn into the street where my house is. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I should be fine. Uh, and I go back on the road again. Now, ooh, um, I'm, do I have, can I help you? 
uh, I don't have anything to help you. I'm, I'm really sorry. And so I'm on the right side of the road again until I hear a car approaching from behind me. Now, I can't see anything behind me, but I hear a car approaching really, really, really fast. So my instinct, go on the sidewalk before I can even think. So I get on the sidewalk and again, same car flashes by me. It goes super fast. And as soon as the car passes me, it keeps going. And at the end of my street is like a stop sign. And they instantly completely overlook that stop sign and completely turn. Like if they were fleeing from something, like completely in a hurry. And so completely stressed and scared from this encounter, I basically come home. Uh, and I was living with my parents at the time. So uh, I tell my mom, obviously, first thing I do is go to my mom and, and tell her about this. And she's like, oh, well, maybe they were just you know, cops that, again, like my theory was to just, you know, they were just wondering what I was doing out this late. And so I don't think much of it again. I go to sleep. I still manage to sleep until around two days later, my mom barges into my room in the morning, waking me up and tells me, Rat, you dodged a bullet. And, um... She was a villager girl, he was a pillager boy, they were dating. <laughs> See, my mom is a teacher in the city where I live, and uh, therefore she, she, she is kept up to date relatively on what, uh, what our students are up to. And that day she learned that uh, around two nights ago, one of her students was shot dead. According to my mom, that student was involved into some shady business, uh, mainly drug dealing. And when she saw the local news that morning, she put two and two together. Basically, what happened to the student happened on the same night that I had my weird encounter with the car. And a day later, two people came up to the police and just basically surrendered themselves, saying they had killed somebody. But that student lived very, very close to where I live. So my mom's theory was that one car with the two guys inside were actually the two murderers and maybe in the dark they mistook my bike for the bike of that one guy that was searching for. My bike model is pretty popular, it's like a flashy flashy orange so in the night it's it's really easy to see and so uh, maybe they thought it was I was the guy they were searching for. But yeah, that was a fun night. Not the first time I, I almost kicked the bucket but still was pretty scary. Which coincidentally makes me think that uh, sometimes I actually wonder if I did choose the name Rat correctly. Because when it comes to the amount of times I almost died, I'm actually probably closer to a hamster.